morning. Welcome back to this yummy. morning. Look who's joined us. Welcome Look. back. Now, sniffer dogs have been used to detect bombs, find drugs, even solve crimes. Uh, but now their incredible sense of smell is helping to fight bed bugs. <laughs> Are you okay, darling? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he hasn't found anything. Listen, as panic continues to sweep across France and now the UK, hotels and homeowners are calling in the sniffer dogs. They are purposely trained to find out these bed bugs, uh, aren't absolutely. they? Absolutely. A business boom, and we are joined by Helen Clare and Tim West from Merlin Environmental with a very clever pooches, Fraggle and Bubba Bo. Um, Nice to see you both. Oh, well, so, nice to the show. Welcome so the company, the show. You, you, you're growing huge over the last couple of years. Um, the massive spike in bed bugs detection dogs. Where did it all begin? It was like a 65% rise this year, isn't there? Up to September, according it's, to rental. It's kids. been so. crazy. I mean, I've been, I've been in the industry for about 18 years now. And I would say the last probably two, three years, I've seen the increase in bed bugs really? just, just go through the roof. It's Do you been... think it's because of the restrictions relaxed? We didn't travel for so long and now it's This sort is of... it. This is it. The hotels shut their doors for two years. Uh, people, obviously, we were locked down for so long. Uh, and as soon as that all finished, people just wanted to get back out. Yeah. They, they wanted to travel. They wanted to go on holiday. And... Yeah, could that? Yeah, that's had a massive impact in it. So it was kind of going up anyway. So with this massive panic with regards to Europe, is it not really true? Did we already have an issue of it going up? The thing is, when you look at Paris and and what's gone on in Paris, it was it was like a perfect storm. The Rugby World Cup, lots of tourism. Yeah. You know, lots of different people coming in. The footfall was huge. Uh, people are asking, you know, is that is that increased their chances here? Are they bringing them over? So short answer is no. Yeah. We've, we've always had them. Mm. Uh, and, and again, you know, Dermot was absolutely right. With the, with the increase in travel again, once the pandemic had finished, it's, it's just, just keeps going up. The thing is, no one talks about it, do no. they? If you've got bed bugs, it's not something that you're going to tell everyone about. You want them out. Absolutely. You want them yeah. gone straight Socially, away. Socially, yeah, you wouldn't talk about it too much, would you? So, um, does your company, is it just all pest control? Or yes, pest yes, pest? we do everything. So, right. we're, a, we're a general pest control. Would you calm down? <laughs> we're a general pest control <laughs> company, uh, but obviously, we're the largest uh, bed bug detection canine company in the country. So, how does it work with the dogs? So, uh, presumably, you pick gun dogs because they're so good at of, of what they do, right? I'll exactly. let Helen talk about the dogs because <laughs> she has more knowledge. Can I have, exactly. can I have a play with this? Yes, yes please do. I'm very excited. I hope there's no bed bugs around here. <laughs> no, we, we do pick gun dogs because of what they do. They're very good with the nose. Yeah. Um, also, these type of dogs are a great size for where we're going. Different... So they get into little yeah. nooks and crannies, right? Exactly, under beds, things like that. If we've got Labradors and larger, it's going to be more of a struggle. Can you explain, is it proactive and reactive, is that right? Is that how that happens? So, there's a lot of hotel chains out there that take this really seriously, and they're, they're fantastic with their approach. So, a lot of hotel chains will have a proactive approach, where yeah. we will go out to their hotels on a monthly basis, and we'll screen with the dogs the hotels from top to bottom. So, basically, what that does for the hotel chains, it gives them an early warning system uh, for these bed bugs, because these guys, they'll sniff out, uh, they're, they're trained down to one single bug. So we can go into a room, we can oh, stop wow. an infestation before it starts. Wow. So the, the proactive element is that. Reactive, we get a lot of clients, callers on a daily basis saying, we think we've got bed bugs, so you come and check it with the dogs. So... It's that, amazing, isn't it? Oh, they, they're just, they're, they're so, so clever to watch. They really are. So how do you train them up? Do you just you literally use bed bugs in order to train them? Tell us how you do it. They train like any other search dogs. Yeah. So it all starts as a game for a tennis ball and finding a tennis ball. And once they're happy finding a tennis ball, then we do change the order to actual bugs, starting with bulk bugs, going all the way down to one bug. So it has to be a dog that actually likes playing that game. Yes, and it's yeah. all so about you can game. tell straight away whether the dog's going to be compatible or not for this job. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't realise when these guys go out to, to look for dogs and they get a candidate dog, they take a tennis ball with them. Now, if that dog's got no interest in that tennis ball, it's then not gonna, they're not gonna it's be... not for us. Oh. But, you know, oh. Spaniel doesn't have an interest. <laughs> well, yeah, very true, very yeah. true. <laughs> it's all a game to them. The whole searching is just a massive game, one, one they enjoy. How long does it take to train them? It depends on the dog. If you've got the right dog with the right motivation and drive, it could take between six and eight weeks. And always, it's almost like cockers or springers or sprockers or that kind of... They're 
favourable. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you do all over the country because, like, if I had an, an issue at my house, could you come? Would you come to my house? Alison, we'd come to your house like that. It's <laughs> not a problem. Uh, we don't. We don't tend to do domestic properties, uh, and that is because the the cost of the dogs. So we're far more commercial. Yeah. In our approach. Uh, so is it quite expensive then? It can be. I mean, if you've got a three-bedroom, four-bedroom house and you, yeah. and you run the dogs through, that will take the dogs probably five, ten minutes to do the whole house. Right. These dogs are used to doing 400-room hotels. Got ya. So we, we can do it, but it, it is expensive. Yeah. You know, people perceive it as, your dog's only been here ten minutes and you're charging me that. Yeah. But you're, you're paying for the expertise yeah. of the dog. Hey. So you're going to do a bit of a demonstration here. Can you show us how you use the dogs? Which dog are you going to use? This one's very She's not, this one is not trained yet. No, not yet. Not she's, yet. She's, <laughs> she's in training. In training. So the first thing that Helen's going to do uh, with Fraggle is she's going to put her harness on. Now, this is Fra Fraggle's indication yes. that she's going into work mode. Oh, wow. So it's a switch. Oh, look, she's changed. She has changed. She's going to find, to be <laughs> Not you. Well, I hope, and no bed bug. Exactly. That's what I hope. And what happens when Fraggle does find a bed bug? If, she, find, if she finds a bed bug, then she will just completely freeze. Nope. Oh, <laughs> oh we've, got, uh, <laughs> we've got another one. You, you had one job there, man. <laughs> Hold the dog. Take it for a walk, sorry, go on. Is there anything? Oh, don't smell anything on me. No, we're good, we're good. So she will stop dead. She will stop if, completely dead. If there's bed bugs. She will just freeze and stay staring at whatever she's indicated on <laughs> until she gets her ball. <laughs> so I've got I think it's safe yeah. to say we have no bed bugs, right? It, You're good. Yeah. Yeah. We have no <laughs> bed bugs, Dermot. <laughs> if you had if you had, she would have told you straight away. She would have as soon as the harness went on, she would have gone to the area where the bed bugs were. She she'd be able to smell them straight away. Well, do you know what? Thank you so much for Thanks, sharing guys. that story. Can you stick These around and just do all the gorgeous. crew for us as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And yeah, the, we'll the, the green rooms and, yeah. and everywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. Now, uh, still good to come. I don't know where I'm Where am I looking? <laughs> Oh, come and sit down, darling. Come and sit down. I can't. <laughs> Still to come. Uh, she's turning.